comes from the third book of the Sister Mercy series entitled Reclamation. Sarah's been presented with a stranger who turns out to be someone she does know, but he doesn't know that she knows. She's gone to the kitchen to fix her a cup of tea since she had a fainting spell, and he's taking a bit of time to do it. Are you okay in there? shouted Sarah. Yes, it will be just a moment. With gentle stirring, it only took five minutes before Mike could see steam start to rise. After waiting a few more seconds, the burner was turned off, and using the wooden handles of the teapot and its lid, he decanted the aromatic sheer chai into two cups. Having found the sugar hiding in the refrigerator, he added a teaspoon to each cup, stirring quickly. The spoon was laid in the sink, and the pot returned to a cold burner on the stove. He picked up the cups and walked back to the living room. My goodness, what took you so long? My apologies. Hopefully you will find my favorite family recipe refreshing. After taking the cup from the young man, Sarah took a sip and her eyes sprung wide open. It's been many years since I've tasted chai tea, especially sheer chai. So, you are familiar with this drink? Yes. Yes, I am familiar. Mike noticed the woman seemed to be drifting away. Is she going to faint again? Maybe the photograph will bring her around. If it causes her to faint once more, at least she's already on the couch. Pulling the photo once again from his pocket, he asked, could you please explain to me about this photograph? I'm sorry, but I've forgotten what you said earlier. How did you come to possess this picture, Mr. Uh, Amati, but just call me Mike. Okay, Mike, thank you. Now, about the photo? My father gave it to me on the day of his death, along with specific instructions to come to America to find you. I do not know why he made the request. It's taken many years and a lot of work to accomplish that goal. I'm hoping you can explain. It is you in the picture. Sarah was feeling lightheaded once again, but managed to maintain her composure. Mr. Uh, uh, Mike, would you mind telling me first how you came to arrive in America? I assume you traveled from mazar e sharif I need time to think. How will I tell him what he most certainly will not be ready to hear? How did this woman know this? Mike was briefly stymied, but quickly regained his composure. All right, but I do want to know about the photograph. Sarah nodded in reply. What do you want to know about my journey? Sarah said everything. Seeing his composure shift, she added with a raised hand, I promise I will answer all of your questions after you are finished. Mike sighed resignedly, paused for a moment, then with downcast eyes muttered to himself, where to begin, where to begin? Returning his gaze to Sarah, I don't mean to upset you, but it starts with the Taliban invading our city. This would be after the killing of the Taliban soldiers? How does this woman know these things? With a solemn nod, Mike Amati began telling her his story. The same journey he had reminisced about in his apartment when he first beheld the face that, up to then, he had only seen in his father's photograph. My first book in the trilogy series available on Amazon is Sister Mercy. The second in the series is Heartstead, and the third and final book of Sister Mercy is Reclamation. Hopefully you'll enjoy all of them. To find the book, you can look on Amazon, log in, and in the search bar, type Sister Mercy by Larry R. Macklin. Be sure to include the middle initial R. Thank you.